evening everyone it is 507 I'm on my way home from treatment and I got stopped by the train so I decided to do my video now um, instead of when I get home because I am tired like y'all I'm beat I feel like I worked a very exhausting eight hour day so my appointment was for eight this morning so I got there, of course, at 8 on time. I checked in how I should have. And, um, <laughs> excuse me. I know you guys that have been following along kind of know that. I said it's like a two-hour window, two-hour wait, really, before you start getting your meds. So I got there for 8 this morning. My first medication was administered at 10. I finished my last medication like maybe 4.30. So a very long day. It's almost like a work day. Um, I'm very tired. Uh, they just now started letting uh, the patients have um, someone with them at the facility again. So today I went by myself. And I can say I shouldn't have. I was very tired. I should not have been operating uh, a motor vehicle as tired as I was. I had to kind of let the window down and get some fresh air. And instead of me listening to like some really, um, you know, slow, soft music to kind of bring myself down, I had to get real hood and ghetto and ratchet in the car to keep myself up. So, yeah, I'm tired. I'm beat. Um, I have a physical therapy appointment tomorrow. They come into my home and give me physical therapy for a prior injury. So I'm not even sure if I'll feel good enough to get that done tomorrow. But just wanted to give you guys an update. Today was uh, cycle three, day one. So I got all of my medications that I normally get instead of the one that I just get weekly. Um, so that is my update for the week. I will let you all know how I feel. I am still, even now, y'all, it's 17 degrees and I'm burning up. Like, I'm having a hot flash as I'm driving. So, uh, just wanted to let y'all know, I did talk to the doctor about um, some medication for my hot flash. Don't take your seatbelt off while you're driving, but I'm hot. And, um... This is probably the only thing that we are bumping heads on. He wants to give me something so I can sleep. Well, here's the thing. I don't have a problem falling asleep. Whew. My problem is with the hot flash waking me from my sleep. Um, so we kind of button heads on that one a little bit right now, but you know at some point i'm just going to remind him you know dr ali you know again um i don't need help falling asleep i need help with the hormones and the hot flashes so i'll keep you guys updated if he gives me a different medication that will that will kind of help with that um but other than that this it y'all i'm on my way home to my family i'm on my way home to my baby Hopefully, I can just kind of, you know, kick back and relax. And if anything new develops, I will give you all a call. Um, a call. I won't call y'all. No. I'll give you all a video update. Um, and just let y'all know how it's going. You guys know last week I went Monday, Tuesday. The week before, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. The week before that, I went Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This week, I went Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Next week will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, they're being extremely cautious and just making sure that I still get every medication that I need. So, we're going to keep doing it that way. We're not going to mess with the plan because the plan is working. And so, as long as I'm still here and still thriving, no need to bother the plan. Um, you guys have a good evening. As I always say, and I hope you guys are still saying this with me because it holds true. Crazy faith, big faith, radical faith. You guys have a wonderful evening and stay safe.